crowd absolutely loved it. Kind of at the edge of our seats. I really liked how it had a good mix of story. This show is all about embracing and, and being excited by one's own ignorance and loving the words I don't know. It's a, it's a blend of narrative and music and live uh, inspirational talks from world's leading scientists. I was a seeker once. As a young teenager, I found myself in an existential crisis. We are going to create a experience uh, that we hope expresses what science feels like. And so we're telling a story set to beautiful original music that is told in the classic myth tradition. I was sent here to find someone who was ready for all this. You seem to know everything you need to know, so um, I'm off. No, okay, I don't, I don't know. By Jove, she did it. Congratulations. Wait, no, no. How did that happen? The acting was awesome, and the inclusion of the music made it even that much better. It was like traveling through time to be at the Globe Theater. It talks about science, but it also has like acting in it at the same time, so it like, portrays the message through the acting. It was surprising and surprisingly emotional, actually. Are you still afraid of the dark? It's not just for me. A light in the void is inspirational. And I kept wondering what was going on with the fire thing, and then at the end, I like, finally clicked. Oh, it's part theater, part symphony, and almost part TED conference. It, it doesn't sound like it should all like fit together, but it does. And when people say it, they're like, oh, I get it. I can't explain it, but I get it, and I love it. This is cool. Evolution has bestowed on us a unique gift, the gift of curiosity that leads to understanding. And we've evolved brains capable of exploring and finding out where we've come from. Was I dreaming there was this anthropologist? <laughs> all of it goes together pretty well. You know, it all flows together well. And I think my favorite part was just uh, seeing Maria come on the stage and talk about supersymmetry and quantum physics. Let's take a journey to the scales of the universe where the effects of quantum mechanics are readily observed. Because what they're talking about is the real deal. It's not like they're talking about science in some abstract sense. They're saying, when I did this, when I did that, and it's like groundbreaking stuff. If the passage of Voyager into interstellar space in 2012 was our birth as an interstellar species, then arrival at Alpha Centauri will be our baptism. We've specifically designed the show as something that serves as a renewal of vows with all that is greater than yourself. I don't care at all if they learn anything about science. I care that they see science as beautiful the way they would see art in an art museum. Yeah, it truly is one of a kind. It was a huge surprise. I thought it was a cool blend of Planet Earth, Cosmos. And I felt like I got a lot more than I anticipated. The whole experience is an emotional experience designed to have the audience coming out of the theater like dancing on clouds. And that Beautiful. cellist, oh man. Whew. Oh, I cried so a bunch. <laughs> and it's not one of those cheesy programs that you see out there where a physicist comes and talks about like the planets and then they play Holst's planets. Let's, let's, let's actually make something that's integrated and totally new. I think it's a really creative way to present science and art to people who really need it most. And to see three powerful, smart, scientific women give those presentations was just so inspiring and, um, I don't know, gave me a little bit more hope than I'd been feeling this week. It was life-changing. I'm already trying to uh, redo my whole Nobody's ever heard of this show, it's brand new. And we sold out, and that, I, it, that just still blows my mind.